Hey everyone, welcome back to another MotoCamp adventure video. This review will be on the GS Emotion Toolbox. Although it's not a necessity, this is one of my favorite products bolted to my bike. The toolbox fits cozily underneath the pannier rack. It's basically the perfect dimensions to fit between the pannier rack and your wheel travel. Some people like it just for that reason alone. While I personally don't have a desire to fill every nook and cranny this bike has to offer, it makes for an extremely convenient way to carry around your tools locked up while still being easy to get to. Locking up your tools is important. I've personally had my tools stolen off the back of my bike, and it hurt to think about how much money that was walking away. Here you'll see that I fit pretty much all of my tools into one little compartment. It's also a really good place to stow extra parts, like these levers I've got here. I fit this full tire puncture kit with CO2 and all in there, no problem. I fit this cruise tool kit roll, which my friends were kind enough to buy me after my other tools got stolen. But you can see I kind of have to wrangle it in and out a little bit. The benefit to that is that nothing moves inside the box. This shot gives you a little bit of perspective in terms of how big the inside is. I've developed a sequence of putting these tools in so that they all fit. So I do have to play a little bit of Tetris to get everything in there. If it was just slightly bigger, I'd probably fit a tire pump in there as well. Notice how the lid has a convenient tether. As small of a feature as it is, it's probably nice to not lose that in the mud or something. One of the downsides of this design is I have to maneuver that lid in a certain way to avoid the blinker. The keyhole also sits in an awkward place, but it's not hard to get to. As soon as you lock it, that lid is static. I don't have any issues with it vibrating or anything like that. The shape of the box isn't a perfect rectangle, which is sort of why I have to play Tetris with my tools. I don't really mind it though because it fits everything that I need, and it also kind of looks cool. I will say that the RGS ADV 1200 graphic is a bit cringy. It sounds like something someone would say if they don't know what bike they're actually riding. The mounting system is simple and effective, bolting up to the pannier rack and the frame. I will say that I bought the bike with it already on, so I don't know how difficult it is to install. Keep in mind this is the OEM pannier rack. You can see that I can rock the entire bike no problem, just grabbing the box by itself. There's zero movement and I have full confidence that it will never come off the bike. You can see that it stays static while I ride and doesn't make any noise. The vibration that you're seeing here is due to the GoPro mount. So all in all, I would definitely recommend buying a toolbox of any kind to fit on your motorcycle. I have no affiliation with the company that makes this toolbox, so I know that the Tortec toolbox is also a very good one, I've seen it on plenty of other R1200 GSs. Because I have no affiliation with anyone, I won't tell you where to buy it from. And lastly, because I didn't spend any money on the box and no one gave me the box to test and review, you know that this is an honest review. Although a snapshot in time, I've seen these going for about $230. In my opinion, that's probably worth it. The convenience of being able to take off my panniers and just keep my top box on while I'm commuting is more than enough value in itself. Thanks for watching another one of my reviews. If you liked the review, press that thumbs up. It lets me know what videos to focus on. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you have the GS Emotion Toolbox, write a comment and let me know what you think about it. That'll help other viewers figure out if they want this or not. And as always, take care and ride safe.